Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. And I'm sure you noticed that uh, my voice sounds a bit different because, well, I ended up investing in some more equipment uh, and it makes my voice sound a whole lot better, doesn't it? Because, well, there's not all that echo coming from uh, my room anymore because that's being filtered out for once. In fact, here is a sample of my voice without that uh, new equipment, so yeah, big difference right there. But enough of that, uh, let's get on with the show. So in today's video, we find ourselves in uh, New York C City, or more precisely, the Bronx, with uh, Dracula Dave as he attempts to intimidate his police officers. Well, according to him, anyway, they're his police officers because he thinks he pays their salary. He thinks he's their boss. But you know what? It doesn't work out too well for him considering that, well, the police are not in exactly uh, intimidated by this little shrimp ball. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm trying to check up on both of them. But these are the projects right here, so that's why they're here, if I'm not mistaken. They outside the car, so that's good. They shouldn't be as paranoid, but they are blocking the hydrant, so we'll be sure to say that about them. I'm good, how are you? CTTF. Look at all this paper. Hello, hello. Can I help you? Can I, can I help, you, help you? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. What are you, what are you looking for? Okay. Hello. Yeah, little Davy boy, we all know why you're there. It's not because the car is cluttered. It's because you want to create conflict. Because, well, you can. Because you want to create clicks and views. In addition to that, we all know that you love showing off how uneducated you are, so please continue. Excuse me, sir. Step away from the car, please. Sir, excuse me? Step away from the car. I'm okay. I'm doing something. Step away from the car. You can ask us, but not, not look at car? any in our car, please. I'm sorry? Do not look at any in our car, please. Why not? Why not? You step away from the car. Yes, in the hide. It's a blind my eye, please. Sorry about that. Why is your trunk so messy? What? You can't clean it up? No, I can't. It should. It's dirty. It's alright. You step away from the car, please. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. Get away from the car. I'm okay. Get away from the car. You don't need to be near the car. Step away from the car. Pardon me, officer, but uh, let me tell you what you're looking at right here. You are looking at a complete failure in life. Someone who has never set goals for himself and never, uh, well, has never really been a productive member of society to begin with. Yeah, he's what you call a complete failure loser and nowadays the only thing he has look for the only thing he has to look forward to is getting up in the morning and seeing how many police officers he can uh well antagonize to say the least I mean, and that's pretty much the nicest way I can put it when it comes to this little snowflake. Step away from the car. Just don't touch me. Step away from the car. If I gotta step away from the car, why don't you step away from the car? Just my sir, car. Sir, it's sir. our car. It's the people's no, it's car. Excuse car. me? It's public my property. Car. No, it's not public property. How much yeah. you pay for it? It's police department property. Thank Excuse you. Me, who owns, a, who owns the police, 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 police department? Who owns the police department? Yeah. The city. Exactly. I have my backpack up there. Why are you going to take a look at my backpack for? I can take a look at whatever's in the car. No, 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 no. My, my backpack. No, you're not. Okay? You can add our operation. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. okay. I don't need your help. All right. Let me get some mic and mics. Sir, sir, we have property. We have property in there. Don't, don't, don't look at that, please. You can ask our questions. Okay, I'm so dumpy. Can I use your car? I'm so, I'm so dumpy for my command, okay? Yeah, let me get your don't car. Don't lean up to my car, please. 
Let me explain a little bit about ownership to you, uh, Vampire Dave. Uh, ownership is uh, about being able to sell your property or trade it off for something else. Now, I've got a question for you. Do you have the ability to sell this police car? No, you do not. Now, the city has the ability to sell that police car. You don't. So, now with that being said, it is the city that owns that car, not you. If anybody had that kind of power to sell a police car, it would be done all the time. So, you don't have ownership of that. Do not lean to this. Do not lean to the copy. Can I use your card? Officer Dungry right here. I need your card. 770. Do not lean the kind of copies. Can I get your card? Go ahead. I don't need to. You gotta, you gotta write your name down. You know what the right to know act is? Stop leaning against our My copies. name's right here. My show number. But right you know here. what the right to know act is, right? My show number. I'm My requesting right a card. If you could write it down. You have pads and pins, no, right? Don't lean against to the copies. Ma'am, stop telling me what to do, please. Yeah, I do. It's my, Step away from my, the car. my car. My unit car. Okay. It's the people's you can car. Act. You are right here, sir. You can step right here. Act our Step over here. Okay, please. I'm okay. Do not lean against the car. Do not look at that my backpack. You know what's funny that you okay. want to tell me what to do, right? But you don't want to give me your cards. Do not lean against the car. car. So okay. write your name down. You got a piece of paper. Property. You got a piece of paper. I'll write it down. What's your name, sir? There's my name. There's my shield number. You have a phone. You're recording it. You know how you, you know how much money we spend so that each officer can have a card, and you want to tell me that you don't have don't a have card. One. Hey, little Davey, why don't you go ahead and tell us how much you personally spend on uh, business cards for these officers. I would like to know that because, well, I am sure that the uh, public would like to know how much you personally are spending on these uh, officers. So write your name down. Give me a piece of paper, right? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Don't write your call. name down. Officer Dundee, so Okay? Do not lean against my car. Don't okay, tell me what please? to do. Yeah, I can. Do no. not lean against another people's car, too. You can ask me, but you can't tell me what to do. Do not lean against the do car. Do you know when you have authority over the citizens? When they're committing crimes? Am I committing a crime? Do not lean Am I committing a crime? Am I committing a crime? Am I committing a crime? Okay. Am I committing a crime? Am I committing a crime? Am I committing a crime? Okay. No, I'm not. So stop trying to tell me what to do. Little Davy boy, I think you got it all wrong because, uh, well, if committing a crime is the only prerequisite to uh, giving a lawful order, well, then uh, nothing would get done in that city. Well, then, uh, here's a little scenario to uh, put things into perspective for you, little Davy boy. Let's say that an intersection is out of power, and, well, there's a police officer having to direct traffic at that intersection to make sure that there's nothing that goes wrong. Now, they're essentially giving orders uh, to cars to go one way or the other. Now, are these cars, are these people in these cars committing crimes? For the officer to direct them in the uh, proper direction? No. That's part of the uh, officer's duty right there to uh, to uh, direct the traffic. And that is essentially the officer giving directions and orders for uh, vehicles to go one way or another. So your argument right there is not that great. Try again. Stop trying to tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to do unless I'm... You have no authority. You have no authority until I'm committing a crime. If you want to be rude, we can be rude. I've been trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice. Obviously, I'm not going to do what you say because you have no authority until I commit a crime. And your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. No, don't do that. It's our car. The people's car. We pay for these cars. Just like we pay your salary. So I can look at it all I want. I'm on the side. I'm on the sidewalk. I'm on the sidewalk. That means I'm free. You can, I'm free. Not I'm free. The police car. I'm free. Okay? I'm free. I'm Thank free. You. you know what freedom is? You know what freedom car. is? Do not lean against this isn't North Korea. Car. This is America. Where we have freedom. I'm on the sidewalk. I'm not committing a crime. About you you understand? I'm talking about you Do you lean, understand? You lean Do you understand what I'm car. saying? Don't touch police you car. understand? 
Don't land it. You're going to damage it. I can't. I just. How? How? You just smacked the car. Did you damage the car? Did I smack the car? Did you see me smack the car? You smacked the car. All right. Go back to work. Start trying to tell me what to do. Damn. You do what she says. She a boss of you. She's the boss of you. She's the boss of you. That's kind of the kind of thing you hear children saying, dude. I mean, uh, get your language to more of an adult style. So, yeah, it kind of makes me uh, think that your, uh, well, phrasing styles are more uh, geared toward that of children rather than adults. So, yeah, I guess your mind never completely grew up. I'm guessing that right now. And your other mannerisms tend to suggest that too. You might be the boss of him, but you're not yeah. the boss of me. I'm your boss. I pay your salary. You serve me. I don't serve you. Crazy. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, right? I mean, you run around here thinking that you run the place when you actually have no power at all, and that's what this is all about it's just one big power trip with you you have no power you try to gain power and it's all fleeting once that power trip is over well you are depressed again you want more you crave more you've got to have that rush of being able to tell a cop what to do and in this case it didn't work out too well for you so buzz off dude at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.